Hello everyone. In this short video, we will be walking through the deployment of the ServiceNow Knowledge Graph Connector one-click setup experience. We'll cover the deployment process, pointing out some of the common issues that we see, and demo a copilot functionality with the newly connected data. To get started, we'll need an M365 account with either Global Admin or Search Administrator permissions. To follow the least privilege access model, we recommend Search Administrator. We'll sign in to the M365 Admin Center with that account and navigate to Settings and Search and Intelligence. From here, we can select Data Sources and then Add Connection. From the Data Source window, select ServiceNow Knowledge and then Next. In this new simplified setup experience, all that is needed to complete the deployment is to configure a display name, the ServiceNow instance URL, and the authentication information. For this demo, we'll be using ServiceNow OAuth as that is the recommended authentication method. Here, we have entered the instance URL and the authentication information. When you click Authorize, if you aren't already logged into the ServiceNow instance, you will be prompted to sign in and consent to the permissions. In this case, we are already signed in, so we just need to consent to the permissions. We can now see the green check marks indicating we have successfully authenticated against our ServiceNow instance. In some scenarios, we may not want to deploy the graph-connected content to our entire org. In that case, we can use the rollout to a limited audience feature to scope the content to a specific set of users. You can use individual users or groups as part of this configuration. In our case, we will leave this off and deploy to the entire tenant. Finally, we need to agree to authorize Microsoft to create an index of the third-party data. Before we continue, it should also be noted that there are additional configurations available via the custom setup option in the upper right. In this menu, we have access to the permission configuration. The connector attempts to map identities using both the UPN and mail properties in Entra ID, matching them to the mail attribute in the data source. A common issue we see is those identities don't match. In that case, we would need to create a custom identity mapping using regular expression. Data configuration, allowing us to specify which content we want to index as part of the connector. And the crawl configuration, providing us the ability to dictate how often full and incremental crawls will run. In our scenario, we are leaving all of the settings as default. We can select Create to continue with the default settings. As the connector deploys and begins syncing the data, there is another configuration step we need to complete. By providing a detailed description for the connector, we can enhance Copilot responses. We recommend specifying the type of content contained in the connector, providing examples of workflows, and providing any custom names that the content might be referenced by. This description can always be updated later if additional Copilot tuning is necessary. Once we have provided a description, click Save and Done. We are taken back to the Data Sources tab within the Search and Intelligence Admin Center. Scroll down and find the newly deployed graph connector. Notice the connection state. We need to wait until this reads ready. I've refreshed the screen and we can see that the connector is in a ready state with 61 objects indexed. Now the content is available to us through Enterprise Search and Copilot. If, as we are testing, we don't see any knowledge articles in Copilot, we should check a few of the common issues. First, ensure that your user has permissions to the knowledge article in ServiceNow. Second, ensure the ID mapping we mentioned previously is correct. And third, ensure advanced scripts aren't being used in any of the criteria providing access to the article, as advanced scripts aren't supported and will result in a deny permission. Let's jump over to the demo. We'll open Copilot and ask a few questions about our travel policy. What is my travel policy? Here, we can see we are returned results and we can verify it's from our ServiceNow connector. Let's ask a more specific question about our travel policy. How much can I expense on food if traveling to Australia? Again, we can see the content is being returned using our ServiceNow connector as the source. Finally, let's ask Copilot to provide a list of steps we need to follow to submit a travel expense when we travel to Australia. Again, Copilot has provided us a list of steps we need to follow, all using the ServiceNow graph connector that we deployed using the one-click setup experience. Thank you for following along.